Hey guys, this is Erdrich from Team FTL with a Great Nature deck profile. Now this will be post um, set 8, so some of the cards in here will be Japanese. Um, these cards come out in set 8, so don't worry English players. Um, these cards are actually really good. Um, there are only like 3 cards that I actually use in Japanese in this deck. Now for my starter, this is one of them. Um, his name is Ohm. Uh, Blackbird Ohm, I think. Um, basically, uh, he's a 5k booster that goes out of soul. Um, Basically his soul is soul charge himself and apply this unit on a unit, another unit. Basically when that unit dies in the end phase, you could draw a card. So it's a break even, but it's a good 5k booster at the start. Next I have four Leopolds. I don't run any Polaris because I do not like Polaris. Uh, Polaris is um, A, inconsistent, and B, um, he's just too um, counterblast heavy in my opinion. Like, Counterblast 2 to stand a unit and give it 4k is just too much. Um, I'd rather just save a unit instead with Leopold than actually standing it and killing it. So, yeah, 4 Leopolds. Next, we have 3 Magnet Crocodiles. Uh, Magnet Crocodiles are typical 12k attackers. They're alright, because um, if you give them 4k uh, with Polaris or with um, Binoculars, they get for 16 by themselves. And if you have a good booster, you hit for like 20, 27, Etika, well, etc. Yeah. Um, yeah, so three of those. Next, I run four Binoculars Tigers. Now, these cards are pretty good. I um, consider them ben better than um, Leopold because uh, these guys can hit in the rear guard and also give power, which is better than Leopold's um, Vanguard only skill. So, yeah, four Leopolds, I mean, um, four Binoculars Tigers. They're also 9k, which is pretty good, and they also give 4k to a unit, and they die in the end phase. So yeah, you can hit pretty good numbers with them. Next, I have 3 compass lines. Uh, these cards come on set 8, as you can tell. Um, these cards are 11k grade 2s, and their only restriction is you must kill something in the end phase. Now, um, with this guy, you could target, you could actually target a stat otter. So then in end phase, you kill the stat fire instead, and stat fire won't let it die, so it's a plus because you're 11k, and you could, uh, you don't have to guard against 10k attacks, um, which is amazing. And so I run three of these. Uh, next, I have four Geograph Giants. There's typical 10k attackers, good against cross rides. Oh, yeah, those um, compass lines are also really good against cross rides because I don't run any AKs in this deck. Next, I run um, four uh, duckbills. These guys are called Loop the Loop duckbills. Um, they also come on set eight. Uh, this guy's actually a rare, which is pretty funny because his effect is really good. Um, his effect is the same as the starter Ohm. Basically, uh, when this guy is called to the rear guard, you could give a unit a skill, which is when it dies in the end phase, you could draw a card. So these guys are a plus. Um, which is amazing, and it's a 7k booster, which is even better. Uh, yeah, these are duckbills. Next, I run four hamskays. Now, um, hamskays are pretty good, in my opinion, with this deck, because uh, with loop the loop, you could actually plus a lot. Um, like with loop the loop, you can't use the skill on a. Well, you can, but you can use the skill on. Um, if you use the skill on a stamp otter, stamp otter doesn't actually die. So then um, you don't actually get to draw a card um, if you apply the skill to stamp otters. These guys actually let you draw cards. Like um, you can count on last one to search another copy of this and add it to your hand and also draw a card as well. So yeah, also um, loop the loop stack. So if you use multiple, if you call multiple ones on a Hamske, you could draw like two to three cards and stuff. So yeah, you most likely want to use Ohm with Loop the Loop to get pluses off Hamske. Next, I run three stat powders because these guys are pretty good. I mean, with binoculars, you can make them a 10k booster or with Leopold. Um, yeah, and he can't be retired by effects. So if you're playing against Kagero, they can't use like... Berserk Dragon or like uh, Heat Nail to kill this guy because it's a continuous skill, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Next, I run 
four perfect guards because this deck has a pretty good hand advantage against your opponent. I mean, um, for some reason, I always end up with a pretty good hand, so four perfect guards are pretty useful. Also, I don't really mind riding a perfect guard to begin off your um, to begin the game because it doesn't hurt much since you're running four. So yeah. Um, also, no uh, monoculus tigers like those are the seven k uh, monoculus clone for grade one. Um, I just don't like them in general. Like I want, I don't have enough space either. So that's why um, I run the hamskays and not the um, monoculus tigers. So yeah. Also, monoculus tigers has to attack, and the highest you can attack for is fourteen k, which is a pretty bad number. So yeah, none of those. Next, um, for the trigger lineup, I run four crit for these crits. Um, these guys are actually a Hamske clone, so they do the same thing as Hamske, so if he were to die in the end phase, you'll count last one, switch out another copy of this. Now you don't want to use the skill too often, like you want to use Hamske more, cause uh, you don't want to deck thin all your crits, cause you won't be able to win the game as easily. Four more crits, these are just plain ones. Uh, four draw, and four heal. So yeah, that was the deck. Now there are actually many things you could do with this deck. Um, hitting against cross rides, you could always call out these guys with like 10k's and like put power behind here when you're attacking with binoculars. I mean, yeah, binoculars tigers or like Leopold. So it's for 19k. Since set um, 5 is coming out really soon, these guys are really useful. So yeah, this deck has lots of like techniques, you actually have to calculate math sometimes because these guys get 4k like Binoculars and Leopold give 4k power, not 5k which makes uh, math an issue here I guess in a way so yeah, that was the deck um, bye!